Well, good morning. Uh, this is Gabriel Varga. I'm starting something today that I've never done before on uh, Facebook, but we're doing our daily Bible reading. Uh, the reading for today, the 31st of July, is uh, Psalm 62 through 64 and Romans chapter 1. You can get through the Bible in a year if you just read 14 minutes a day. And Psalm 62 to 64 and Romans 1 will get you through. You read that today and read the chart every day. I'll, I'll be updating you each day. Psalms is so wonderful. We're going to uh, talk a little bit about the book of Romans uh, and a couple of things there. Just get you interested. Romans 1, uh, 16, it says, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. Well, when it says Greek, it means more than just Greek people. It means anyone else. It's available for everybody. And I'm not ashamed of it. And that's why I preach the gospel every day. And if you're a Christian, you ought to be telling people about Jesus every day. Don't be ashamed. Uh, and so that's a, that's a wonderful thing. In verse 17, it says, For therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith, as it is written, the just shall live by faith. Justification by faith. We're kept uh, by the power of God through faith. And we believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. For by grace are ye saved through faith, and not that of yourself. It's the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Now, Romans chapter 1, it tells very clearly here uh, the problem that we have today with homosexuality. Uh, we have a lot of trends in America today of saying uh, that homosexual relationship, men with men and women with women, uh, is okay. It's not. Uh, the Bible tells about it here in, uh, in, in Romans uh, uh, chapter 1. And, and it says here, uh, it says, uh, For the invisible things, verse number 20, uh, from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even the eternal power and Godhead, and that they are without excuse. Now it says here in verse 21, but when they, but when they knew God, they glorified him not as God, neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish heart was darkened. Now listen to this. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools, and change the glory of the uncorruptible God uh, into the image made like unto corruptible man and uh, the birds and four-footed beasts. Wherefore God hath given them up to uncleanness through the lusts of their own hearts to dishonor their own bodies between themselves. Now listen carefully. Who changed the truth of God into a lie. This is a dot lie what they're telling you today. And worship and serve the, the uh, creature more than the creator. Uh, verse uh, number 26, For this cause God gave them up to vile affections. Now homosexual behavior in the Bible is called vile affections. For even their women did change the natural use into which is against nature. And likewise also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lust one toward another, men with men, working that which was unseemly, and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error which was meet. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over unto reprobate minds. So you see, homosexuality is vile affections. It's a reprobate mind. That's what the Bible says. That's not my idea. It's, it's the Bible. To do those things which are not convenient, being filled uh, with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetous, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, whispers, backbiters, haters of God, despiteful, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents, without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural reflection, implacable, unmerciful, who knowing the judgment of God, that they which commit such things are worthy of death, hell. Not only uh, do the same, but have pleasure and then and do them. Now listen, I just read through the Bible in a year. This is today's reading, 31st of July. Uh, homosexuality is vile affections. It's unclean. 
and it's wicked and all of these other things that it's saying. God bless you. Read the Bible every day. It just takes you 14 minutes. Read that uh, Psalm 62 to 64 and go over Romans 1 uh, uh, several times. And don't be ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. It is the power of God unto salvation. You have a wonderful day. God bless you.